Hello everyone, it's Jennifer and thank you so much for joining me today. I'm popping on for a quick tutorial. I'm going to be using some of the beads from the Iris collection from Jesse James Beads. Also, I have some extender chain and this is their heart link chain. I have some champagne extreme flex from Softflex company. I have some uh, I have some wire guardians, a lobster clasp and a couple of jump rings as well as some bead caps. And these bead caps were part of, included in the Beads by the Pound last year from Jesse James Beads. And I plucked out all of the bead caps and um, separated them out. The ones that I'm gonna be using, I don't have enough of. However, though, when I was putting this to see if it would look okay together, uh, you really couldn't tell that they were any different. And I'm going to space them a little differently and um, hopefully uh, it will kind of blend in with the design. So we're going to bring in a bunch of these little kind of petal, petal beads or bead caps. Move the chain off to the side. And then we're going to bring in these. And like I said, they're not all the same, but again, we'll just try to position them a little bit and this is more to give an idea I had this design in mind a long time ago and just now getting a chance to put it together so let's go ahead and we'll go ahead and get started my idea is to bring in I'm gonna use I think I'm gonna use three because I need to have some length and I'm thinking three in between is gonna be better and so I told you these were a little different and so I'm gonna separate them out. And again, I don't think it's gonna be very detectable. And a wise friend of mine once said, if someone is standing close enough to you to tell, they're standing too close to you. All right, so I'm gonna have one full one, one full one, and like this, like this, and then these will go in between. All right, so this is gonna be the first one here. And I love stacking and layering bead caps, especially these JJB ones are just super nice because when you look at that, and I'll zoom in, that flat bead cap, the larger one, and then the, the other pointy bead cap, it just fits perfectly. And I just really love it. All right, so now we're going to add another one of these, another one of those, and then I'm going to add three. I should, I wish I had more of those bead caps, but I'm sure I've used them in between somewhere because I feel like I had a lot more of them before. And I didn't, I, maybe I, I don't know if I didn't realize that they were, oh, look at that, that they were different before. I'm not sure if I did. But, and I'm looking at them closely and I couldn't tell. Then we're gonna add three more. These little beads are so cute and I love the colors. Oh, I do like the three. I like the three because then you can see the bead caps, no, no bead or bead cap or any sort of component is lost in this design. And again, it's just a simple design. I've done something like this before and with um, some Preciosa beads and they were so pretty. And it wasn't exactly like this. However, though, this was what I kind of took from it another spin on it and these beads have been sitting in the corner of my of my workstation here and I have been going through my workstation so that I can see the bottom and so I've been finding all of these uh, little treasures and then decide then trying to figure out oh no, what was I going to do with that? I can't remember what I was going to do with it. And I tried to write everything down. And so I have a book. Um, it's usually right here. 
but I'm not seeing it. It's a composition book, and I write in all the designs that I have in my head, or if I see another design and putting another spin on it, because I might not have those exact same beads, but I love the design, and so then I'll put a little spin on it too. So as you can see, this is pretty simple. And this doesn't have to be a bracelet. This can be a necklace too. And so if you want, you can just have this be the front of a necklace. So there's multiple things that you can do here with this. And okay, and so I think what I have to do is yeah, I think this is the last one I'm going to be able to use for that one and now bring in I think I cannot remember now yep so this one here has that one and then this one one two three so I have a, a straggler so we're going to bring in this one here Bring in one, two, three. I might need to grab more of these beads, these little tiny ones. Okay, and then bring in this and one of these. You see how simple this is? Super, super simple. And, oops, let's grab this. And then I think this is gonna be long enough. We will see. I mean, it's gonna be it's gonna be pushing it, so we will see how many. And I can always add more of these little guys on each end. So if I wanted to put four, I have those there. So let me see what the size of this is. Right now with my little fandy dandy, little wonky sizer, but it works. Yeah, it's gonna be a little too short. So what I'm gonna do then is make this into a necklace. How's that? And then I will, yeah, so we'll make this into a necklace instead. All right, so we'll put these guys away. We'll just, that's what I'll do is I'll dump this and then put these away. Okay. And, oh, I need crimp tubes. Okay, so I'm going to use crimp tubes. These are the 2x2 two two crimp tubes from Softlex Company as well. I'm going to bring in the Magical Crimper because I love using the Magical Crimper. And I am going to... I'm going to use those, but I'm going to go directly onto the wire. Onto the chain, sorry. And we are going to use Magical Crimpers. And here we go. And then, then I have this and I can, I don't need a clasp on the back because it'll just go here. And so if it is there, yeah, you get it, right? Okay. So let's add this. We're going to add our wire guardian and put that on there. We are going to bring this, and then I'll be able to see how long I need this. You can make this, an, you can actually make this an over the head if you want to, and not even have, and not even have a clasp. Um, I'm gonna bring in these, because I wanna bring the wire guardian together. And I use that front because it's kind of rounded on the standard crimpers. And I do that just so that um, it reduces the chance of the wire kind of getting in between there. So I'm going to separate my wires here. And with the magical crimper, we have this one well tool that fits the 2 by 2 crimp tubes. And when you crimp down, when you have that all centered, you get the four corners pinched. Then you come in and you turn it on its side. You get right in the middle there again. 
and then you just start crimping around. I just start turning and I keep, I continue turning this around, making sure it's centered in there until I feel no tension. And you can see there's still a little bit of tension there. And so I'm gonna continue until I have that nice bead-like finish. And I love that bead-like finish. And then pull and it's not going anywhere. Now, I could probably get this to poke through the first one, and I like that because then, not for security purposes, but I like it because then I feel like it's centered on that bead. I might get it through there. Did I get it through? I did. I feel like it's, it sits centered nicely on that bead. Then I will come in and then give it a trim. And I get as close as I can. So there's that. Then I'm going to trim this off, giving myself a little bit of room, since you saw that it was a little snug. And then I'm going to see how long I want this. Okay, so this was perfect right there. So... Give that a little trim. Now let's see how much. I'm living dangerously over here without having that um, cinched off. Okay, so let's go. Let's not use the crimping pliers. I mean the cutters. Then let's just see how long. And it's about right there. Okay, give that a little bit of a trim. I'm off camera, but I'm trimming that off right here. Then I still have a ton left. Okay, now let's go ahead and do the second side. We're gonna grab our two by two crimp tube. We're gonna grab our wire guardian, place that over, pass that back through. And then add our chain. And you don't have to add your chain. You can use uh, jump rings if you wish. Then I want to pass it through that first bead because I just like how it sits on the bead. So let me pass it through. Okay. Now I want to bring those two sides together. And pull that a little bit tighter. And then I want it to flow. So I'm going to pull it all nice and tight. Okay. Then I'm just going to open it up. And when I open it up, it gives me a little bit more room. So let's make sure that that stays over there. And we are going to add our little magical crimpers and get that four corner. And then now we will start hunting around and crimping down as we spin this around. You want to make sure that before you stop the crimping, that you have no tension and then that assures you see how when I when I lay down or when I go to crimp it was moving it's because there's still a little bit more that needs to get crimped and now I think that it's done all right and then come in and make sure I get as close as I can and then there's my waist so a little tiny piece there and then this one here I will save, I will save that because I will add, sometimes I'll add, if I'm going to be doing a floating necklace and I wanna have the crimp beads or the crimp tubes with that bead-like finish in between, I will um, add a second, I will add a second piece of wire, just like this, so that you can crimp down on that. Okay, 
Now, since we, the lobster class, which I need to check that it works, and it does, since the lobster, lobster class can go directly onto that chain, all I need to do is attach the lobster clasp on this end. And we'll do that and then we'll be all done. What a quick, fast, easy project. Very quick and easy um, gift. This is a very, very beautiful gift. that nice and secure and there we go beautiful little necklace using uh, some of the eight millimeter fire polish and these maybe they might be maybe two by three or three by four and the, this is also from the iris collection along with some bead caps that I got from beads by the pound and some heart link chain also from Jesse James Beads. So give this video a huge thumbs up if you like it. Comment. I love to see what everybody has to say and subscribe. And until next time, have a good one.